All right, they're starting to see the writing on the wall, and I think everybody needs to as well. So once again, I think that we're going to see a reactionary tale to the data that comes out, and it's probably going to be a negative. And as I stated, we're all going to feel the recession once the Federal Reserve finally pulls the trigger on lowering interest rates. All right. I did it for you. Uh, fuck you. All right, whoever the hell donated that. And uh, trolling the interwebs, where's the anime film? Hey, I don't have time to do shit, all right? It'll come out when it comes out. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm over here talking about a recession. You fucking morons are putting a moist finger in your ass and wondering when the hell the next anime is going to come out. Fucking just, just chill out. I'd buy that for Jesus a Christ. Listen, ghost. Uh, I'm it's smart a because I know the boss no, on the office is named shut Michael. Up, Scott. Shut up, you doxing piece of shit. Anyway, Devious Dave. Hey, Grandpa, you're back. Yeah. First of all, don't call me Grandpa. And secondly, look, it's these troll terrorist cyber vermin that are trying to stop the True Capitalist Radio Show, and I'm not going to let them win. I'm not letting them win. Anyway, once again, tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, ghost dollar. number one fan forever. And by the way, I do want to acknowledge uh, the folks that have uh, videos coming on the next Ghost Show. I'm talking about Woke Millennial, Driving, Working, or At the Bar. Uh, also, um, uh, this person who's donated a, a few, and I'm talking about Denominator 444 Jumper Daniels. I've got all of your donations saved, and we're going to get to them on the Ghost Show, all right? We've heard of you hiring illegals for business. Just know that is against the law, and we will deport them back to Mexico, oh, and you great. will be fined. You better comply with us, or you will be arrested yeah, for okay. illegal activities All right, and weed great. smoking. Great. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so scared. And Duke Orville with a $50 rumble rant. It sounds like Tim Pool just went from wearing beanies to wearing an Oshanka. Well, cheers to you, Dork, Duke Earbull, and thank you very much. And let me tell you something, Duke. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Tim Pool, MAGA, grifter, Russian paid agent situation here shortly. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. So cheers to Duke Orville. Thank you very much, man. And happy... Up, you fucking jerks. Uh, but anyway, let me acknowledge once again uh, th these uh, this buy me a coffee donation that just came in. Uh, put the PC shot on. I'm not reading all this crap. All right, I'm absolutely not reading all this crap. So thank you for the five bucks, Ghost Number One fan. Hi, Ghost. Me, as well as other serious listeners, are glad to have you back for another TCR episode. I've honestly always loved the series more than the Ghost Show, and I can tell you do as well. You tend to have more passion and fury on these shows as someone who's been listening. I'd buy that for Oh, a Jesus dollar. Christ. Skip it. Skip the crap. Why did you end the stream after one hour last week? And why did you have to go cry in a Twitter space? Hey, because, uh, shut up, because I can't stand some of the people that listen to this broadcast. And I'm talking about you ghost show pieces of trash. The whole reason why I tried to separate the shows is so that you ghost show appreciators can stick to the ghost show and those people that are serious can be on the True Capitalist Radio hey, Show. Long-time listener, uh, I'm walking the show off. in my truck fuck right now. Off. Fuck these troll scumbags and keep doing what you're doing. You're an you're asshole. That's one of the Oklahoma City bombers, you idiot. And Blade the Stellron Hunter, thanks for a show today, Ghost. Uh, hopefully it's troll-free. Well, obviously not. And hope to hear you on the True Capitalist Radio chat room. Cheers. And yes, I will be in the True Capitalist Radio chat room after this show. But I'll definitely be looking at the NFL tonight, baby. You know, I, I'm, I know some of you stupid, dumb anime lovers are like, oh, my God, it's Democrat ball and all this other crap. And the reason that you young people don't really like or gravitate towards football is because most of y'all are a bunch of effeminate idiots who you, you literally wear legging jeans to show off anal camel toe. You know, and when you were in school, uh, you had a kick me please sign and you enjoyed every kick. All right. When I was in school, I was playing football, all right? All right, I was Mr. Football. So give me a break. But anyway, Baltimore Ravens, uh, Kansas City Chiefs tonight. I'm definitely going to be watching that, all right? Devious Dave, uh, could you show off what TCR trading cards are going to look like? I might want in on that. 
well, I'm certainly not going to show it because these idiots out here are going to go and make stupid trolls out of it, AI it and shit. So, I mean, it, it is it is an actual trading looking card. It's it's actually, you know, your traditional modern day trading card. It's just going to have the characters. I'm just going to have the characters of the show. All right. And Alexander the Resurrection said, Yo, Ghost, excited that the NFL season's going to start today? Chiefs and Ravens, I'm so excited to laugh at you when both the Texans and Cowgirls lose. Well, look, I'm not. I'm a Cowboys fan. I know they're not going to do anything. All right? I know they're not going to do a goddamn thing. But I'd be watching the Texans, baby. That, that kid, uh, Schwab, I mean, that's a, that's a badass fucking rookie quarterback, man. All right? It's going to be his second year. He almost took them all the way last year. They put some pieces in there in Houston. I think they got a good shot. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. And you know, we'll get to the buy me a coffees in a minute. Anyway, Texas has the worst football teams. Go L.A. Rams. <laughs> L.A. Rams. For a or Stroud, not Schwab. If my you bad. enjoy the serious talk of TCR and the internet tomfoolery of the ghost show, would that mean you're bisexual? Now I know why I'm such a fruit. Well, I don't know if you're bisexual. I, I know you might be bipolar. You know what I mean? You might be one of those. You might be bipolar or something. But anyway, Ghost is number one fan. Thank you. He's, he's, he talked about how he had his first job as a burger boy after too many years as being a neat. And now it gives him a disposable income to do more things. So cheers to you, Ghost number one fan forever. I'm just not reading all that. I'm sorry. All right. Let me go ahead and get to these other ones that, for whatever reason, don't post. I don't know what the hell that's about. A capitalist squirrel hooked it up with a buy me a coffee and said, the two teachers were probably Democrats and the students were probably future Democrats. That's four less Democrat voters, don't you think? Shouldn't Republicans hail them? Dude, I'm not, I'm not reading that. All right, I'm not reading that, capitalist squirrel, you sick fucking macabre piece of trash. And we've got Arrogant Bastard. Hey, Ghost, uh, happy Thirsty Thursday. Question, is it a good idea to invest in physical copper as well as UBI stock as it tanked due to their jackassery? Or do you think it's a good idea to co toss a, a couple of shekels while it's low in case they make a comeback? No, I don't think so. Especially, I don't know, look, I don't like gaming stocks right now, and let me explain why. They just came out with an article uh, that AI can now simulate games by either putting video of the game itself, pictures, or and a description of the game that you want to develop, which could eliminate game engines altogether and could democratize game creation by allowing individuals, believe it or not, to create their own games. Here in the next two years, one to two years, whenever they roll this out, they're just doing it right now behind the scenes, but uh, it has been a successful AI model. So I don't like gaming stocks right now in my opinion. And as far as physical copper is concerned, I, I I think it's, I don't think so. Unless you're going to sell it. Unless you're going to make wires or unless you're going to do something to that capacity, I, I don't think so. Gold and silver. Silver especially. I'm glad you decided to do a true capitalist radio today. Oh, God. Your mind-blowing CIA level assessments have encouraged me to go over the That's horizon. That's the idiot that I'll killed himself. on Facebook tonight. You're an Cheers asshole. For encouraging me Ronnie to McNutt was the mind. guy that blew his head off on Facebook. I'd buy that for a dollar. Have you ever tasted your own nut? Dude, go fuck yourself, urinator. Seriously, you're a sick piece of trash. Anyway, as I was stating, if he just lifted this ridiculous Democrat Green New Deal mentality and allowed domestic production, I'd buy that domestic for production for domestic consumption. Do you plan on throwing a party when Kamala wins in November? Oh, Jesus Christ. I Look, I will get to that in a second. And first of all, I'm not voting for Kamala Harris, all right? I'd buy that for Jesus a Christ. Listen, Ghost, whoever donated as Ronnie McNutt is dumb. He killed himself. I get That's it. That's not kid-friendly. I hope he's in hell with other bad people like Adolf Hitler, All Joseph right. Stalin, Great. Jeffrey Dahmer, Thank you, Ruth Bader Joey Ginsburg, Edward. and Rock Pay. Thank you, Joey Ed and I Rock Ape. For a dollar. Foster the people in Georgia. Get some pumped up kicks. That's fucking horrible. Yeah, you better anonymize yourself with that stupid, ridiculous damn comment, you sick fuck. <laughs> Buy that and look at shots on me in Georgia. All right, guys. Look, this is way too soon. You guys, I get it. You're trolls. You're edgy. You know all that. This is fucking way too soon. You fucking piece of trash. All right, I'm not even joking around. 
But anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted here, uh, the United States is the largest producer of oil. All right, and that's exactly what's happening. Take a look at this. Bitcoin's price right now is at $56,125.81. I told you, all right? I wouldn't normally bring this up, and I certainly can say it in the chat. But a few months ago, I was away, and when I came back, there was a fairly large catalog in the litter tray. And well, <laughs> who gives a shit? Got the best of me, and I took large bite. Are you fucking I'd kidding me? Oh, dollar. fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, ghost inspired another. Dude, fuck you. All right, you people that are trolling and doing this shit, cut the crap. All right, y'all are starting to piss me off, and I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by a bunch of trolls. Oh, God. I'd buy that for a dollar. Dude, Georgia Swiss cheese. Are you fucking people kidding me, man? Is this what you people get inspired to do every time there's a mass shooting? Is to figure out how to be macabre and joke around about it? Unbelievable. I'd buy that for a dollar. Unbelievable. Hey, how? Fuck you. I'll get to radio graffiti when I get to it, you fucking stupid, dumb fucking scumbag. Anyway, as I stated on the last show that we were going to see a pullback in Bitcoin, but there's going to be a bottom in this pullback. We're going to be seeing hikes in gold because that's what it means when they lower rates. I'd buy that, I'd buy that, that for Jesus Christ. Hi, guys. I promise to you that I did not receive $500,000 shekels monthly to spout Democrat I, propaganda. I, I, I do not. I, Bloodlust Brian. Deny to the Department of Justice that my money from Shekelstein Noseberg right. is not from the Russian intelligence. Yeah, all right, real funny, you jerk. All right, and I'll get to the buy me a coffees in a second when they finally show up. I think there's, I don't know, like a five minute delay in them or some shit. I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, I think that, uh, you know, if you want to make a few bucks here in Bitcoin, I think it's available. <laughs> Just I'd wait to see when the right bottom now. is here on this short term pullback. Another true capitalist radio shock trooper successfully oh, activated. Geez. Can y'all fucking piss off? Now, ghost. Can y'all seriously piss off with this crap? And we got Rock's ass. Hey, you ghost, I just want to know if we're going to be getting a radio graffiti this show. I don't fucking know, all right? The way it's looking, it ain't looking too good there, Rock's ass, all right? And by the way, Woke Millennial and uh, driving and working around the bar. Or denominator, I've got all of your donos for Go Show. There, I, I've got them down, and you guys are going to be the first videos in the the Go Show. So I FYI, all right. Oh fuck off, dude! All right, stop kidding around about the Georgia shooter. All right, Jesus Christ, you people are fucking sick, man. All right. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, gee, I'm not answering that question. At what price point would you shit yourself on air for content? I'm not. What kind of shit? First of all, why the hell are you people even donating garbage like this? I mean, what is the purpose? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Colt Gray was inspired by your show. Fuck off. All right. Jesus Christ, man. You do this every time there's some fucking mass shooting. Every time you fucking trolls do this shit. Every fucking time. Jesus Christ. Anyway, there's Bitcoin. And like I said, when once they cut rates, that'll help not only Bitcoin prices, but everything. That's why I'm not in the stock market right now. I'm not in the stock market right now. Hey, Ghost. Hope you're doing well tonight. I just got back to my hotel room as I'm actually on a bit of a trip. You see, oh, I heard Jesus that someone Christ. in Georgia was one of your trolls, and I found All him right. at his school. That, that's enough. Bomb the Bomb the no, Bomb no, the shut that off. All right, look, if this is all you people are going to do, it's going to be a damn short show. I can tell you that right goddamn now, all right? So I'm warning you, cut the shit. Jesus Christ. Now, let's go ahead and make a transition, no pun intended, from financial news, and let's go right into the political news, all right? Now, let's talk a little bit about Kamala Harris. Since you people think that I want her to be president, I really don't care on this election cycle. I've made it very clear that I think that the Republicans were going to lose all the way back in the primary. And why? Because you morons insisted on having Trump as the nominee. That's what this election cycle is for me. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, God. 
There are pictures of Colt Gray as a trans woman with pronouns in his bio. You legitimately turned another one trans and look right. what they did. That's enough, all right? That's <laughs> enough of this shit. I'm tired of you doing hey, this. Ghost, oh, long time listener here. Oh, I just God. wanted to let you know that I've always hated the stupid racist trolls. Also, you might see me on the news. That's not fuck funny. Them kids. Dude, fu <laughs> what? I'd fuck them kids? What the fuck? So when are you going to be summoned to the courts for your involvement in January 6th? I didn't do anything in January 6th, all right? I had nothing to do with that. All right, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I had nothing to do with that. Then end it and come to bed, Daddy. W -W hey, you know what, urinator? Enough of you, all right? Enough of you, for Christ's sake. I hope that the reason you're acting like this is you've got late-stage AIDS, and it's already infecting your brain, and you're going to be out of here in the next few years, you sick fucking freak. And Puerto Rican prostate punch with a rumble rant. Big question that no one is asking. Why do you always stream after a school shooting? Hmm, what the fuck does that mean, you idiot? What is that supposed to mean? I buy that for a dollar. You are full of lies. Oh, yeah? You say you were always saying that Trump and co were linked to Rusi? Motherfucker, you were denying the Russia and Trump shit hey. back in 20... No, yeah, no shit, you moron. I've been saying it ever since we went away from Trump post-2020. All right? Ever since t Trump left office, all right, he came out, and instead of being like, look, uh, I didn't know about the COVID, I didn't know about the vax, uh, it was above my pay grade, it was Anthony Fauci, instead of doing that, instead of doing that, he comes out and, and tries to become a Pfizer salesman. Okay? And secondly... I didn't believe the Russian hoax back then in 2016 because I didn't believe that Trump was even capable of doing such a thing. But now, which I'm going to get to in a minute, it almost seems as if as everything that was promoted and propagated when it came to the, quote, Russian hoax about Trump back then looks like it was actually real. But I don't want to get to that it just yet. So shut the fuck up and let me fucking do my show, you fucking jerk asses. Oh, God. The New York Times reports Colt Gray, 14, suspect in the Georgia school shooting, has recently transitioned after joining an online chat room. You guys called are the fucking Inner Circle. dickheads, man. I mean, you guys are, are fucking dickheads, all right? Sounds like Ghost wants a constitutional amendment to make abortions legal. Well, I don't want a constitutional amendment, but I'll be honest with you. I'm not for abortion, but, I mean, you all have changed my mind. 333 in chat to ban Jag the Luxray, and if Ghost is the biggest inspiration of violence... What the fuck? Look, cut man. the shit out with I that fucking shit! Y'all are trying to troll this shit in reality, and I don't appreciate it, man! Look at this shit! Look at this crap! The backup plan if the shooting failed was to blow up antiques in Wonderland. Oh, Wonderland. Jesus. Looks like I'll have to settle for stomping hook heads and killing Roundhouse kick oh, house God. guys off of bridges. Dude, use no, my fans, by the way, dude. My fucked up fucking shit bird Peppermint fans. Peppermint swirl, a pedo, and a racist walk into a bar. He sits down and orders a drink. What, what the fuck is that supposed to mean, Kirk Johnson? Or I'm still pissed at you for uh, making me play that damn near animated pornographic black video. You stupid son of a bitch. Anyway, let's go ahead and, and talk. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dollar. Here we go. I would still be alive if you wouldn't have radicalized your TCR member to turn my school into a bullet buffet. Uh, dude, I'm not acknowledging these anymore, man. This is just getting too much. I mean, I'm, I'm in for fuck's sake. I finally saved up enough money to join the ghost inner circle. Oh, Jesus. Although, it's kind of weird. I have a bunch of members how old I am constantly. Ghost also keeps mentioning how masculine I look. He insists that I pretend to be a guy, and now I think I am. You guys are fucking pieces of shit. You know that, man? I mean, I've got some serious issues that I want to talk about here, but instead, I'm having to fuck around with you people. Now cut the shit. Anyway, talking about this fucking party girl running for president, Kamala Harris, she visited New Hampshire to tout her small business tax plan. All right? 
And hold on, trolling the interwebs. Ghost is right. The 2010 to 2020 was evidence that shows Dem collusion with Russia. Hillary files and Steele dossier especially. Well, I, I obviously think that the, the dossier was a bunch of crap. But at the same time, it almost seems as if what Hillary was saying may have been true. I'm going to get to that in just a second if you all would shut the fuck up. Jesus fucking Christ, just shut up. All of you, shut the fuck up. Good God. Anyway, what is her small business plan? Well, believe it or not, she describes it as an essential foundation to our economy, quote unquote. And Harris said that she wants to expand from five to fifty thousand dollars in tax incentives for startup expenses, with the goal of eventually spurring twenty-five million small business applications <laughs> over four years. I feel bad for those Georgia kids. All they asked for this year was books, but they got magazines instead, uh, and the parents you got pamphlets. Fucking low. mother! Fuck you, Lord Jimmy Berea! Fuck you, man! All right, fuck you! Jesus Christ! And we got stroll, uh, stream troll Mike. What did the things you and Derwicking say? Uh, look, I'm not, I'm not acknowledging that. All right, fuck you, stream troll Mike. I'm not acknowledging that. Anyway, once again, I'm not too sure if this is a good idea. All right. I mean, I get it. This is what Democrats do. Let's just give money to people. I get it. But this is what we did during COVID. And that's where we're at today. So in my opinion, if Kamala's going to do this, she's going to inspire PPP-like fraud. PPP-like fraud. How does it smell having your nose so far up Kamala's asshole? I'm fucking criticizing the bitch, dude. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If you would stop worshipping some fucking skunk-headed pro-Russian simp, maybe you'd see things differently. Maybe dollar. you'd see things differently. Another thing, you piece of shit. You said that the Venezuelan gangs were fake and game. It is! Well, a shelter-in-place order has been issued in Colorado today. Uh, Put fuck that it. in your pipe uh, you know, and smoke it. All right, you want to talk about this shit? All right, we're going to go all over the place because like you stupid autistic fucking Asperger morons, you've got attention deficit disorder and your fucking stupid synapses go all over the place. So you want to talk about the stupid fucking fake fucking news about Venezuelan gangs? Let's talk about that shit, all right? First and foremost, put the PC shot on. Chief, the police chief of Colorado says, listen, or the police chief. Oh, Jesus. All right, great. Real funny. Thank you for the fucking, whatever, fucking I'd Turkish lira, whatever the dollar. fuck that was. Why do Americans fish with guns? So they can get the whole school. Horrible joke, dumb and lame, by the way, all right? Now look, take a look at this, all right? Police chief says Colorado apartment not being taken over by Venezuelan gangs despite viral images, all right? The Aurora Police Department went to this trendy agua, argua, whatever the fuck the goddamn apartment his name is, and every one of the residents said this is a bunch of shit. Every one of the residents say, while some people in the apartment complex are undesirables, that the people that were filmed in that so-called viral video may not have even been Venezuelan. They may not have even been Venezuelan. This is a bunch of shit, all right? And you people take the bait. And who propagated all this? Oh, my God, Venezuelan gangs taking over a Colorado apartment. The same fucking assholes that are being paid by fucking Putin and Russia. All right, so give me a fucking break. And look, let's just say for the sake of argument, let's say there was Venezuelan gangs taking over uh, uh, apartment complex, like Nino Brown style and shit, like New Jack City, and they're taking it over like the Carter. I mean, do you think the people they're taking it over from, do you think that they're law-abiding citizens? Do you think that they're going over into some luxury apartment complex with a Fourier, with somebody greeting you as you come in? And No! All right? These, if, there, if there's any goddamn Venezuelan gangs taking over anything, they're taking over what is already criminalistic and which, which already operates under these conditions. So who gives a shit as far as I'm concerned? All right? So first and foremost, the police chief says this is a bunch of shit. All right? We have received leaked photos from the Nashville shooter manifesto. 
One disturbing passage is mentions of an online group named the Inner oh, Circle Jesus and people Christ. such as Ghost and Jag the Luxray. Who's doing allow this Allow mentions shit? constant grooming efforts from other IC members. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. All right, so once again, your stupid little, oh my God, Venezuelan gangs are taking over. Dude, there is no Venezuelan gangs taking over. You're just listening to Benny Johnson. You're just listening to Tim Pool. You're listening to all these stupid fucking paid Russian agents who are propagating this shit so that you people can inflame your simplistic senses and think that something is happening when it's not. All right, you're idiots, all of you. This is how fucking stupid you are. This is how gullible you are. Jesus Christ. And what is this, feminist socialist? Dude, no one gives a shit about Russia. Well, well, well then fucking piss off. And Chaser Bibbs with a rumble red ghost. Are you a firearms owner? Yes. I'm sure you are because you're uh, from the great state of Texas, but Democrats want to try to take away your guns. I'm going to get to all that shit. Just shut the fuck up and let me do my show. All right. I'm going to get to all that stupid shit. Just shut the fuck up and listen. All right, shut the fuck up and listen, fucking losers. Anyway, once again, invalidate your goddamn claim that all oh, Venezuelans are taking over. Bunch of bullshit. All right. All right, and by the way, you same idiots that were out there saying, oh my God, Venezuelan gangs are taking over Aurora, Colorado apartment complex. Oh my God, you were the same people propagating that the fucking Hells Angels, for whatever reason, were going to go down there and take care of it. All right, I mean, you fucking people are idiots. You're fucking stupid. You're fucking stupid. Because guess what? They talked to the head of the Hells Angels and take a look at what he said. Uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. And guess what? You know what propagated this story? Fucking idiots like you people. All right? That's what propagated this fucking story. You fucking losers. All right? You fucking idiot people who don't who don't actually research anything. You just take what's told to you and you accept it like a bunch of morons. And Kirk Gimson, fuck you too, dude. Once again, video spreading through social media <laughs> I'd buy that purport to show that oh, Hell's Angels Motorcycle Club was preparing to confront the Trade de Agua gang. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely stupid. But you people believe everything that you hear, right? I mean, that's how these people are able to, you know, manipulate your ass. All right? And hold on. What is this? Put the PC shot. What is this? All right. Here you go. A shelter in place order in Aurora, uh, Colorado. On top of the shit that's happening. You know what? I just told... First of all, that story is a bunch of shit. I just showed you and that the fucking chief came out and invalidated all that shit. Jesus fucking Christ. What's up, woke millennial? Hi, Ghost. I might disagree with you on some things. I think Trump is better than Kamala and I hate immigrants. But that's okay. I respect your takes on everything and love the show. Please don't quit and can you do RG at the end? Uh, dude, I'm not going to do Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Fuck no. No. Absolutely not. Hey, Ghost. Are you going to talk about Kamala Harris tax plan on small... Fuck you, urinator. Thank you for the five bucks, you homosexual. All right? Lowell, calm down. Kamala lover. Yeah, great. Thanks for the five bucks, too, you stupid moron. Anyway, look, I've already showed you that this bullshit about the all oh, Aurora, Colorado, it's a bunch of crap. And, and guess what? For this idiot, the base department is trying to say, oh, it's in Texas, too? Hey, why don't you fucking read, you stupid, dumb fucking moron? Take a look at this. All right, take a look at this. Dallas police confirmed presence of Venezuelan gang, but sources say... Claims linking a viral video to the gang are illegitimate. They're illegitimate. And this is from Dallas fucking Channel 8. All right, this is local fucking news. You people are morons. You people believe anything. That's why Russia was able to pay a bunch of idiots $100,000 for whatever, four hundred grand an episode of churning out this shit. You people believe it, hook, line, and sinker. Unfucking believable. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is what pisses me off so bad about you know broadcasting to a bunch of simpletons like you people. 
You people actually believe this shit. Unfucking believable. And look, oh, he actually trusts local news. Keck. Oh, well, then I'm supposed to believe this fucker's what? ABC 3340? I'm supposed to believe this shit? You people are morons. That's why I'm glad. And let's go ahead and talk about it then. Let's just go ahead and talk about it right now. I am glad that these fucking mouthpieces put the PC shot on. I'm glad that these MAGA mouthpieces are all coming out and they are now being outed as fucking Kremlin paid agents. Kremlin paid agents. You know, these guys got $100,000 extra for every video that they put out that was not only pro-Russia, but that would demoralize America. <laughs> that would that demoralize that. America. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, ghost right now. Let me tell you something. You MAGA people are in copium. You fucking MAGA people are in copium right now. <laughs> i buy that for a dollar. No. I didn't believe it because I didn't hear about it. But I who gives a shit story, and I'm embarrassed that I even know that people give a fuck. With that being said, get your shit together America, assault rifles are for shooting cops. Cheers, Alright, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Anyway, like I said, every one of these people um, that, are, that are on this list got paid the equivalent of like, what, 10 to 12 million apiece. Or excuse me, 10 to 12 million total, my bad. 10 to 12 million total. And you know what they're trying to say? You know what these guys are trying to claim? They were duped into taking millions of dollars. They were duped into taking millions of dollars. Are the Russians here in the room with us right now? Dollar store Alex Jones. Hey, keep coping. And thank you for the five bucks, by the way. Keep coping, man. Because I know you MAGA people are completely demoralized. And you know what you should be? You should be ashamed of yourselves, each and every one of you, because what created these people and their influence is your naivety. All right? What created the millions of people that follow these morons is you people being so sim simplistic and so lazy so that you don't have to do your news gathering. Instead, you listen to these stupid morons and you believe them. And these are the guys that are propagating this whole idea that Venezuelan gangs are taking over fucking apartment complexes. These are the guys that are propagating all this demoralizing crap. All this demoralizing crap. I mean, I, I, I posted about it on Twitter or X or whatever the fuck you want to call this. Take a look at this, all right? If you haven't seen my Twitter yet, all right? If you haven't seen my Twitter, here it is right here. All right, take a look at this. Uh, this is Tim Pool and the amount of times that he would say civil war. Take a look at all this. I wonder how much he was paid by the Russians to do this. Look at this. I'd buy that for a dollar. Look at this shit. Ghost, you people believe anything and never do research. Also, Ghost, look at all these people paid by Russia. Why don't you read uh, the actual and I've, I've read it. I posted it, President Jay. Instead of fingering your asshole and gyrating it counterclockwise to squirrel fisting videos, why don't you fucking listen to what I've been talking about? Fucking idiot. You know, most of you people are morons. You know that? Most of you people believe that, you know, being multicultural is sticking a roll of Sacagawea coins up your shit funnel. All right? That's what being multicultural is to you people. But anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted here, take a look at all the times that this idiot has said, Civil War this, Civil War that. You're in a Civil War. I mean... I mean, how much did Russia pay this idiot to say all this? Huh? How much did Russia pay this moron? And, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, you getting triggered? Yeah, I bet you are getting triggered, boy. I bet you are getting triggered for fuck's sake. Son of a bitch. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm getting a little upset myself. All right, cut the shit. I, I, I'm, I'm telling everybody, cut the shit. Jesus Christ. And on top of that, how much did they pay old pool to say this? Take a look at this. How much did they pay him to say this? Did y'all see this? Take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. Take a look at this. Play this. They know it. But I don't know that it matters anymore. This is psychotic. Ukraine is the enemy of this country. Ukraine is our enemy being funded by the Democrats. I will stress this again. And we should apologize to Russia. And they know it.
but I don't know. We, that it we should apologize to Russia. Ukraine Are you fucking is the kidding? Enemy Listen to that country. again. You Listen Ukraine to that again. Is our enemy being funded by the Democrats? No I will stress this again. Bitch. One of the greatest enemies of our nation right now is Ukraine. They are expanding this, this war. You see that wrong, shit? I know. You've got criminal elements of the U.S. government pushing them and guiding Good them and telling God. them what to do. Ukraine <laughs> is now accused. Uh, what? What? You are pushing your <laughs> puppeteer's pro-immigrant narrative. The takeover is real and hurting good white folks. Oh, uh, bullshit. Bullshit it is. And, and guess what? If it is, well, then you people should be happy about it because it's happening in a sanctuary city. So, you, you know, what, what viewpoint are you people going to take? Are you going to take that, oh, you know what, sanctuary city, they deserve it? Or are you going to be like, oh, my God, they're taking it over? I mean, which one is it? You know what I mean? You're fucking inconsistent, all of you people. But once again, I just want to reiterate that I always wondered why it was that MAGA had this uh, obsession, obsession with Russia. I never could explain it. I, I, I thought it was Russian coercion. I thought it was Russian subversion. But no, they were paying these idiots the whole time. And I think that this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, it'd be one thing if these guys came out and denied it completely. They didn't deny it. It all comes clear. Anyway, we got uh, Devious Dave. Q-tard shit has been done. Uh, I've done a lot of damage to people. I buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus. I hope Russia wins. I hope Russia invades Sam Hambonio, Great. Texas, and wins. Right. I hope the gangs take over your shitty gated community and turn it into a Soviet state. Great. Less than greater. Thank you for the five bucks, by the way. I buy that for All right. Oi there. The helpful civics teacher, Mr. Reed, just went over situation with the Georgia. I think this situation could have been prevented because the kid that shot the school was posting threats with pictures of guns at the middle yeah. school at the Jumper Daniels uh, denominator. I'm gonna. I was gonna get to that, but these fucking morons wanted to talk about this before that, so that's why we're talking about it. Uh, but anyway, thank you, Devious Dave, and uh, we got President Jay. You do realize Tim is saying civil war is a joke. Oh, <laughs> it's a joke. A oh, it's a joke. All of a was sudden, was talking about the Venezuelans. Third worders squatting is legit a tourist joke. attraction in Amsterdam. Oh also, my God. do you think they sat on this information about Russia funding them just to allow the shills to dig themselves into a deep, well, deep hole? Of course, El Foxo. I mean, that's what they did to the Lulsec people. Remember, Lulsec uh, leaders Sabu. Uh, he got busted by the FBI and continued to operate as the leader of Lulsec, directing hacks to, uh, you know, put more people. In, in trouble, you know. That's, that's what they do. Whoa, woke millennial with a hundred dollar bill, making it rain on these trolls. Ghost, you're doing fine. I like your insights, and many people do. Don't let the heat get to you. Keep going, and maybe you can do RG at the end of the show. Hey, thank you very much, Woke Millennial. Cheers to you. Cheers to Duke Orbill and everybody else, man, that's appreciating the show, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. And uh, cheers to you. And speaking of Duke Orbill, I hope they throw Tim Pool in jail. He did that in a rumble rant. I do agree, too, there, uh, Duke Orbill. I completely agree. Throw this son of a bitch in jail. And trolling the interwebs, I hope they throw Tim Zelensky, Putin, and Netanyahu in jail. Well, we'll see if that happens. All right. Cheers to you. Uh, but once again, folks, I just want to reiterate that uh, it makes sense why MAGA has become all a bunch of, of Russian simps. They were paid. I mean, at least these idiots were paid. Many of you Russian simps didn't get a dime, and you're fucking simping for Russia. I'm a conservative. That's why I want the candidate who wants to rewrite all rules to allow men into women's sports and bathrooms. The very same candidate who wants to pack the Supreme Court, ballot harvesting a national level, and allow no voter ID. Well, uh, this wouldn't be a problem had we not nominated Trump as the nominee for the GOP, which I said, and everything that I said was going to happen is happening. All right? Trump fumbling because he's such a polarizing dickhead. These people are blatant agents of Russia, and they should be in prison. If Tim Pool and Benny Johnson and all these people aren't in prison for at least 10 to 15, 20 years, there is no justice. There is no justice. 
Thanks for the inner circle involvement. Oh, fuck you, Dr. You really Disrespect. Helped me get fuck back off. On my feet. Can't wait to make fuck my off. comeback tomorrow. I know you always got my back. Fuck you, dude, all right? And uh, Chaser Bibbs with a rumble rant. Both Trump and Harris are bad. Ghost 2024 for president. I have faith the Lord will get him in and, and win. Well... I, I certainly don't want to run for president, dude. I mean, it, look at the people that you have to bleed. Look at these people. Look at these people in the chat room flapping their fat Dorito stained fingers on the keyboard. Uh, they're Russian simps, and they're not even getting paid for it. All right? They would not be able to partake in the lifestyle that they have in Russia, and yet they're simping for this shit. So uh, that's what I'm saying. And, and look, uh, Kirk Gimson was all, who who is paying you shill pro-Jew pro propaganda? Well... It's funny that you say that because I'm not getting paid for any of this shit except for you people throwing some, you know, a couple of hundred bucks in donations at me and shit. I ain't getting paid by nobody to say what I'm saying. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. All right. I mean what I say and I'm saying what I mean. But, you know, much like how I guess President Jay was saying that uh, Tim Pool was, quote, joking around all the times he said civil war. Somebody else said that. Somebody else said that recently now that the heat is coming down on, uh, you know, Russian uh, simps and uh, people that may or may not have been paid by Russia. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. It's nothing more than the man who is uh, brown coffee and cream. Anyway, never mind. The point I'm trying to make is listen to his explanation. Anyway, as I was stating, <laughs> before, uh, I what is it, Anonymous? What do you think about Russia's anti-woke visa to allow Americans in? It's just a fucking PR move. I mean, why isn't President Jay and, and all these fucking pro-Russian uh, MAGA simps moving out there? Because they want to talk about America in America. They don't want to move to Russia because they know they're not going to be the weak, enemy-loving, game-playing piece of shit in Russia. They don't allow that shit. All right? You want to know why everybody's on their best behavior out there in Moscow? Because if you don't do what... Putin says you get vanned, you get jailed, or you get murdered. All right? So everybody's on their best behavior out there because they just want to continue living and they don't want to, you know, I don't want the Putin to kill me. Unbelievable. And yeah, by the way, there's conscription in the Russian war too. And there ain't no, oh, I got to piss and poop my pants so I don't get to get drafted in the war. They don't give a shit. Russia is sending retards into the war. They're sending women into the war. They don't give a fuck. So all of you people that are pro-MAGA and hate America so much and think America is so bad, what's keeping you here? Vladimir Putin is rolling the red carpet for you people. Why aren't you going out there and, you know, practicing what you <laughs> preach? I'd buy that How about for that? Get that shit up. And Valentine Broadcasting with a $10 rumble rant. Ghost, tell them about the deal that the Catholic Church made with the barbarians after they uh, the Roman Empire fell. Well, that's a very good, very good point. And since Valentine Broadcasting hooked it up with $10, I'll go ahead and tell that story. And after that, that's where we got the monarchy. And that's where we got the correlation of the monarchy with the church. The walls in the Vatican was to keep the young boys in. Yeah, real funny, asshole, all right? I mean, I don't disagree with that, but real funny, real funny. Anyway, that's the point. The point I'm trying to make is, is that that is how things operate. And I think that's what Billy Valentine was trying to get across, is that uh, you've got these Russians that are coming in, and they're trying to show a lot of these MAGA mouthpieces that, hey, we'll give you the secret, when in this case is money, uh, to stay on the air. And to uh, get influence, and but you got to propagate what we say. You have to do what we say. You have to act in the way we say. And I'm telling you, folks, I, it, this is at least 20 years of jail time. At least 20 years of jail time. I mean, didn't they? They, they sent Paul Manafort to jail for like 15 years uh, until Trump pardoned him, of course. Trump campaign is now in chaos as infighting amongst grifters, hucksters, and profiteers 
Hold on, this is an audio file. All right, sorry. Oh my God. I, I, I don't know what the hell this is about. This is Jumper Daniels, the denominator. I, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ! Good God. Denominator, was that necessary? Denominator, was that absolutely necessary? I've got your videos on the next Go Show, by the way. I got them all, so FYI. And Camaro RS09 with the Rumble Rant, he said, Honestly, I'm Team America. America needs fixing, honestly, before we focus on other country stuff. Camaro, that's a fucking right-wing talking point. All right? What do we need to fix outside of making sure criminals that do crime go to prison and go to jail? What else do we need to fix? All right? I mean, we have opportunities out the ass, and nobody wants to take advantage of them because they're lazy pieces of entitled shit. And that's why you got immigrants killing themselves coming in here in order to take advantage of the opportunities that you people just, just leave lying there. And Devious Dave, Israel and U.S. does the exact same thing to, in other countries. It's not that far-fetched to believe Russia would try to do that here. Well, thank you very much, Devious Dave. At least you're opening your eyes a little bit, man. Cheers to that. But anyway, look, didn't I say that the, old, the whole reason why the MAGA chattering class continues to back up Trump? Because it's money. You know, folks, if I was a scumbag and, and I just wanted to make money, I would be pro-Trump. I would have been pro-Trump this whole goddamn election cycle. I would have been MAGA this and MAGA that, and I would have been pro-Trump... I would have made at least four to five times more cash, all right, than I am now. And the only reason that I'm telling you this is because that's why people are out here backing <laughs> up Trump. He's dollar. profitable. It makes me. Skip that fucking shit. All right, I mean, take a look at all these grifters, man. Look at these. Look, Charlie Kirk. Uh, this, of course, Don Jr., which I think has you know, spiraled this goddamn uh, campaign into oblivion. All right, who else do you got? You got this Ludendowski. What does Ludendowski have on Trump? Uh, I mean, give me a break. And here you got this guy that just got out of prison, uh, Navarro. <laughs> Peter Navarro. Hey, man, I don't know if you heard about what's happening now in Guatemala with the green hand in the belly card and morose. Crazy stuff. BTW. I have to take a shit super bad, but I am trying to power oh, through this God. workout so I don't have to stop and shower. What? Jesus Christ, man. Uh, and look, at these, these are all grifters, man. All Everybody here makes money propagating and promoting Trump. Everybody out here, for Christ's sake. Man, what the hell is this guy? Would this guy have a lazy eye? I had no idea. I mean, I, I, did, I thought this guy, I didn't know that fucking Ludendowski had a hairy carry eye. I didn't fucking realize that shit. Jesus Christ, you learn something new every day. But look, this is all, it's all a grift. That's all it is. And look, I'm telling you, whatever I'm saying to you, I genuinely believe it. Because if I wanted... <laughs> oh, Jesus. A Here's another audio file for heaven's sake, man. Keep I'm not... I never doxed anybody, man. I never doxed anybody, dude. Okay? I never doxed nobody. I tell you what, why don't I give you your, your number out right now and maybe somebody, maybe we got a doctor or somebody can call you and help you out with it. How about that? How about that? Hey, I'm talking to you. You better talk or I'm just going to say your number. I'm going to, oh, oh. All right, yeah, th thank you for recording that while you're taking a shit, all right? Give me a break. I'd buy that for a dollar. Could you pause the show? I really need to use the bathroom. Oh, uh, great. Speaking of taking a shit, a fake Jag Deluxe Ray. All right. Oh, Jesus. All right. Let me tell you something, man. I'm getting a little tired of this. All right. I'm trying to give you guys some 411. I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks. But because you people are in major copium, and don't get me wrong, I know many of you have put a lot of energy and effort into this MAGA shit. I'm sure that you've 
told this shit to your family. You promoted all this shit. People are probably rolling their eyes whenever you do say something pro-Trump or MAGA shit. I get it. But does anybody listen to old ghosts? Absolutely not. All right? And, and, and that's why we're in the situation that we're in. Here, let me get to some of these buy me a coffees because uh, I need to get to some of these here. Uh, put the PC shot on. Uh, I did uh, say, Capitalist Squirrel, cheers to you. I did uh, hear about, uh, I did read that one. I just wanted to acknowledge it visually. And same with Arrogant Bastard, cheers to you, man. He said, uh, Thirsty Thursday, good question. Oh, yeah, I, I, I answered that about Copper, man. Cheers to, once again, Arrogant Bastard. Ghost number one fan, yeah, sorry for the long donos. I'll try to donate shorter messages from now on. Long story short, I got a job after years of being in need, and now I have more money to donate to you. Fun fact, I used to live in Austin area at, at around the same time you were there, and when I heard you moved to San Antonio, I immediately moved there as well. Oh, great. Hopefully one day I can get to, to into the IC and closer to you. Okay, great, thanks. Nothing creepy about that at all, dude. Uh, anyway, how... You, you, you see what it says. He's, it's, he's calling me a fucking dick cheese Jew burger or whatever the fuck. Uh, we've got uh, JSEV, of course, Ghost is a PSYOP. The base department, which I completely invalidated every one of these stupid fucking links earlier in the broadcast. So eat that base department. And we've got uh, JSEV, Sacagawea dollars rule. Got to be my favorite currency of all time. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Many of you people th think being multicultural is sticking a roll of Sacagawea coins up your ass. Uh, arrogant bastard ghost, they already knew who was paying them. They just want to claim blissful ignorance. This may sound a little unpopular, but it feels no different between these shekel goblins and lobbyists. It's either control of the people or control of the government. Well, arrogant bastard, that's a very mature thing to say. I'm not even kidding. Because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's about the money, baby. It's, uh, it's about the money. And we've got trolling the interwebs with a rumble rant. Elect, every election, the establishment says, this needs to happen so it can be better next. And the next time it gets even worse. I don't understand. I don't understand why what's getting worse. I mean, we, this has been a decent economy. I mean, post-COVID, I mean, there's so much money circulating. I mean, that's why people have gotten a warped understanding of their materialistic needs during this time. A very warped. And that's why we're in the position we're dollar. in. And your capitalist waifu, that looks like some disgusting ASCII art, you piece of crap. You piece of crap. I'd buy that for a dollar. And Frank Castle. Gay every billionaire and multimillionaire moving to Puerto Rico and paying zero taxes. Yeah, but Puerto Rico sucks, dude. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I, you, I wouldn't fucking, you couldn't pay me to go there. I get it. It's got a little fucking, you know, beach or whatever. I mean, I I just would never want to go to Puerto Rico. Are you kidding me? Fuck, there's other places to go with better taxation. Let's just put it that way. And what is it, Anonymous? I can't wait until Trump wins and ghost shits and pisses all over himself. True DNC radio. You went from a Trump grifter to terminal derangement syndrome all in a few years. Always dealing in extremes. Sad. Uh, dude, uh, dude, I don't want to vote for Trump because he betrayed me. He betrayed Julian Assange. You know, I find it ironic that you people have just brushed that under the table. You know, Julian Assange gave Trump the 2016 election by releasing the DNC email leaks. And it exposed the criminal enterprise that was the Democratic Party. But guess what? Why don't we, instead of banning guns or taking away guns from law-abiding citizens who don't take psychotropic drugs, who don't have any kind of criminal record, who don't think irrationally, why don't we stop any kind of gun sales to anyone, anyone who's taking psychotropic drugs? We already do this with marijuana and all the other contraband. I mean, you certainly can't be smoking marijuana and then throw in a gun that you bought from legitimate means because that is a crime, believe it or not. What do you think uh, Hunter Biden, aside from the tax stuff, why do you think he's being prosecuted? Because this idiot showed off a gun with a small mound of coke in the goddamn frame. So why don't we fucking apply this to everybody who's taking some kind of psychotropic drug? Because if anybody has taken a psychotropic drug, their whole brain chemistry has already been reconstructed. It's been re-chemicalized. And in my opinion, folks, from my observation with people who take psychotropic drugs, it changes them forever. 
It changes their speech patterns. It changes their facial features. It changes their thought processes. It changes, it changes their personality. And look, people are saying, my, my marijuana is psychotropic. I just said that, you moron! All right? That's why if you're one of these people that accepts medical marijuana in some of these states, you can't get a gun. You know that? I mean, I bet you idiots didn't know that. If you have medical marijuana prescribed to you in any state, you don't get a gun. So if we could do that there... for a dollar... Yeah, Ghost Thinks TV is really... Shut up, idiot. If you we, if we could do that there, why can't we do this to people that are taking psychotropic drugs? And look, if you're if you're taking offense to this, if you're taking offense to the, oh, Ghost, why you gotta do that? That's hatred. That, no, it isn't. Because you're taking psychotropic drugs because, quote, you're mentally ill, right? And you know, I don't believe in mental illness. I think it's all a bunch of fucking crap. But since we're gonna go ahead and play along... That, oh, my mental health and my mental illness. I mean, if you're taking psychotropic drugs. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. If you're taking psychotropic drugs, then, I mean, shouldn't you be, you know, someone of concern of being mentally ill? And if you are mentally ill, should you not be allowed to have a firearm? I mean, in my opinion. I mean, I mean... <laughs> I mean, look, I know there's a lot of people taking offense to this, but with all due respect, if you're taking a psychotropic drug, you're fucking mentally weak. You're mentally weak and you're, you're fucking pathetic. All right, give me a fucking break. I mean, you, you're, you're, you can't deal with life, so all of a sudden you're popping. It doesn't matter what you're popping. All right, any kind of mental drug that reestablishes your brain chemistry outside of your normal biological self that right there, in my opinion, is mental illness, and these people shouldn't be having guns. Th that's why law-abiding citizens who have never been busted for anything, that have never done anything, that aren't on psychotropic drugs, these people shouldn't be penalized because people that are on psychotropic drugs go out and do mass shootings because they're fucking idiots and they're fucking mentally retarded and they're pathetic. All right? Our Second Amendment shouldn't be infringed because of these losers. And trolling the interwebs, she will never get the Pelosi to agree on. Yeah, I know, on unrealized gains. I hear you there, trolling the interwebs. It ain't going to happen. And Chaser Bibbs, I think uh, cheaters should be executed using rat torture. And uh, hold on, let me, let me just do this here. Sorry about that. Anyway. I'd buy that for a dollar. Only white men should be allowed to own a firearm. Well... Wasn't the guy uh, a white kid today that, uh, you know, shot up all those, or yesterday, I should say, that shot up all those people in Georgia? Yeah, take a look at this. Put the PC shot on. Look at this guy. There he is right there. White male, by the way. Look at this. White male, by the way. White male, by the way. So, I, I mean, what's your point? All right? What's your fucking point? I mean, what, 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 only white men should have guns? This is a fucking white person. This is a white kid. This is a 14-year-old kid. This is a 14-year-old kid that committed this. I mean, this is unbelievable. And look, everybody's all, oh, well, he, he looks like a troon or whatever the hell you're saying. Hey, that's, I mean, what makes you, aside from him taking psychotropic drugs, which I believe he did. I'm not sure yet, but I believe it. What's the money? What are the odds, I should say, that he's watching anime? Huh? What are the odds that he's watching anime? Hmm? Kirk G Gimson, he's a Jew. Oh, God, give me a break. All right. I'm just saying. I mean, if he is trying to go the direction of being an effeminate, uh, I don't know, cross-dresser or transgendered or whatever, you don't think that he's watching anime? And that this, you know, could have potentially, you know, been an influence in his effeminate behavior. So this is why I'm telling you folks, all right, I'm sure this kid is on psychotropic drugs. And I'm telling you right now, this is what we need to do. I'm talking to us on the right wing side, because I certainly do not want my Second Amendment infringed at all. All right, but, you know, if we're going to continue to have these shootings and not talk about the actual issue which is psychotropic drugs, 
then we're going to continue to see this shit repeated over and over. And by the way, what's another correlation? I mean, aside from the potential of this person or this kid that did this Georgia shooting being <laughs> having psychotrop... Oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Do you think Russia will face any more sanctions over the promotion of pro-Russia in media? And can you please stream upcoming debate? Cheers, baby chairs. I am going to stream the debate. I am going to uh, stream it on True Capitalist Radio. And no, I'm not doing a ghost show afterwards, all right? We need to start promoting that anyone who has psychotropic drugs should not be allowed to own a firearm or be around a firearm. So if you're a parent of one of these <laughs> dumbasses, you, you're, you're, you're not going to have a firearm. I am in firearm. department forever for the greatness of the teachings of my parents do not take any pills, syringes, well, good for you, and man. powder or smoke anything. Also, whoever mentioned only crackers must have capability to have firearms. You incel need almost never met any blacks. Oh, oh, well, that's true. That's true. And look, all of you people that like anime, you keep coping, you idiot. All right. I'm not your fucking dirty dish rag whore mother or your dickless father that will allow you to do this shit. If you were in my fucking household and you were over the age of 18 and you were watching this shit, I would fucking throw you out and say, tell your waifu to fucking take care of you, you fucking piece of shit. All right. So go fuck off. All right. If you're over the age of 18 and you obsess over cartoons, you're a piece of shit. All right. You're a piece of fucking shit. All right? I would never be friends with any of you pricks. I wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. All right? So go fuck off with that shit. Anyway, look, I was going to talk a little bit about uh, more about Trump, but you people don't care. You know? I mean, you are calling me a Democrat. I mean, let's hear Trump in his own words about Democrats. Let's, let's hear this. Put the PC shot on. I've been now around long. You know, I think of myself as a young guy, but I'm not so young anymore. And I've been around for a long time. And it just seems that the economy does better under the Democrats than the Republicans. What? Now, it shouldn't be that what? way. What? But if you go back, I mean, it just seems that the economy does better what? under the Democrats well, than the Republicans. Well, it certainly did well under Clinton. Well, but I wouldn't did. suggest it was so great under Jimmy Carter. That's true. That's but true. Do you remember That's the interest true. rates? No, I know. I know. It's uh, Jimmy Carter was not in the oh. same thing. But oh, look, look at these copium fucking maggotards. Oh, how many years ago was that? It doesn't matter how many years ago was that. You people continue to throw the past on anyone who is in opposition of fucking Trump. And now I'm throwing shit that he said because you keep throwing shit that I say about him from my past. Now I'm throwing his shit from his past. And all of a sudden, when he does it, it's all good, right? Because he's a skunk-headed fucking idiot that you people jerked off to when he would play himself on the fucking Apprentice show. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid, man. This is why I can't wait, all right, for this Donald Trump to lose, and I can't wait for many of you people to be drafted into World War III. I'm not joking around. We need something to organize America and to put ourselves into some kind of mental toughness. You know what I'm saying? And you want to know why mental toughness is very important? Because take a look at this study that came out here. Take a look at this. Mental toughness might be more important than diet for you to live longer. Huh? And there's not many of you people that have any kind of mental toughness at all. You people, I mean, why do you find solace in cartoons? Because you're fucking weak. Why do you have to pop psychotropic drugs? Because you're mentally fucking weak. All right? And this is what we are not teaching our children. We're not teaching our children how to be fucking tough and how to realize that, hey, this is the real fucking world, and things aren't always going to go your fucking way. Things are not always going to go your fucking way. So that's why you have to be fucking mentally tough in order for you to conquer or negotiate obstacles. But many of you, whenever you confront an obstacle, you fold like origami and walk away and then compartment you just compartmentalize that fucking loss that failure, you compartmentalize it, put it in the back of your head, and don't ever think about it again. And this is why we don't ever learn from anything. This is why we, as a mass, we memory hole mass events that affect us all, like COVID. We memory hole all this shit. And yeah, Devious Dave, Jimmy Carter just died. I, I, I don't think so, but if he did, who cares? All right? He was a prick. 
And Cromulent, why do you bring up old shit? Ghost anytime, flop. Dude, fuck you, all right? You know, ban Crom. I don't even know why he's not even, even fucking here. Ban that fucking piece of shit. Don't ever come back to this fucking chat. Fucking idiot. But anyway, as I was stating, this is what we're lacking in today's America. This is what we're lacking in today's America. Mental toughness. They're going to have they're going to have to have something on the negotiating table and what Ukraine has taken is is a small fraction. But if it continues, then Putin is going to have to deal or he's going to look stupid. He's going to have to deal or he's going to look stupid. All right, and speaking of China, let's go ahead and take a transition into China. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, let me go. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me let me get to some of these uh, buy me a coffees if I missed them here. Uh, put the PC shot on. All right, now let's take a look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this crap. Uh, your capitalist waifu. Real, real, real swift. Real swift. Uh, your capitalist waifu. Don't take fucking anything. You got two dollars. Walk you n word. You n word, Danny. Uh, dude, give me a break. That's fucking dumbass oddcast, you idiot. j Sev, Ghost, you smoke weed. I'm calling the ATF. Well, let's fucking call him. I don't give a fuck. Think I give a shit? Fucking call him. Fucking morons. Anyway, uh, Froppy, Putin's plane has fallen apart. He got caught paying off right-wing talking heads. And now no major magatard on Twitter can be trusted. No, they can't. Uh, he's losing land, international, and domestic support, and now he's caught grifting, thinking he can twist the election for Trump. Watch it all falling apart has me laughing with glee. Well, at least, you know, you, at least Froppy understands what's going on out here. Cheers to Froppy, man. Very rare W for Froppy. But anyway, let's talk about China. Now, what is China doing? Now, remember we had um, the State Department guy, Sullivan, go out there last week in hopes of trying to mend fences. And China does not want to do this. They just want it to go back <laughs> to the old days. I shall be honest, even though you disagree for most to me, I genuinely like Russia as a country to visit and go on the internet on. Well, I think I it is unique as its own place to be. It's the government that has made the country with no freedom. Fuck Putin. Okay, well, I, I don't know if you were being sarcastic or real there, but thank you very much there, uh, denominator. <laughs> Buy that True Hanoi dollar. Radio with seven fucking beer. Hold on, I gotta fucking see what the hell the True Hanoi Radio. And hold on, I'm gonna have to read this uh, offline or off screen here because uh, for whatever reason, okay, though these are videos for uh, for True uh, for the Ghost Show. Okay, all right, I got you, True Hanoi Radio. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a Ghost Show tomorrow. All right. I don't know if I'm going to do a ghost show tomorrow. I may do it on Sunday. All right? I may do it on Sunday night. All right? I'm not too sure about tomorrow. I've given you guys two of my fucking Fridays. And, you know, there's a fucking football game on tomorrow. Uh, you know, fucking Saturday, I think there's some UFC or some boxing. And uh, Sunday, I just want to see uh, the, the morning and the afternoon games. And, you know, <clears throat> maybe I'll leave the night game on in the background. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see what happens, man, all right? But anyway, going back, this is what I think the stickler is when it comes to U.S. and China relations, is that China refuses to buy the $200 billion in exports that it signed with Trump in January 2020. And by the way, even though Xi is out here saying... Oh, Here, here's Mr. Nguyen. Get fuck, bitch. You understand? I go full VC on GI. Vietnam superior country. Oh, I tell great. you and all fans of True Hanoi Radio tell you, bend over for me fat boy. I teach you a lesson fat boy. You Peter Griffin, I Mr. Fu Quinn. Fuck you G.I. Jane. G.I. Jane, fuck you Mr. Nguyen fucking G.I. Jane for Christ's sake. Anyway, as China is investing in Africa, uh, the South African president came out and tried to urge everybody that, uh, take a look at this, uh, China's not pushing Africa into a death trap. A death, debt trap, excuse me. Bullshit they aren't. I mean, this is what China's doing. And, you know, the whole promise was uh, when Mandela and the African <laughs> National Congress... Uh, here's, here's denominator. I am being honest. 
I like the country, but the communism and totalitarianism has caused trouble to the world around the world. Stalin put the people in the dirt and I will always for now on hate the fucking government. I wish you luck, Mother Russia. Well, I guess. Thank you once again, their denominator. And Eddie 324758, you can tell that you can trust what he says because of the way he looks. All right, whatever the hell that means. All right, but they're insisting that there is no debt trap, which is exactly what China does. That's what China does. That's what China does. And uh, speaking of which, because of this, um, you know, we're the United States are trying to propagate some kind of conflict between China and someone. Now, we have been kind of agitating this Philippine situation. And remember, China has been saber rattling us for so long, saying they're going to do this and they're going to do that. We're trying to tr- we're trying to agitate them into actually going through with that. And Vox Art Officials, will you come over to my place and watch k with me, Dad? Jesus Christ. No. How about no? Fucking Vox. So, aside from that, China also knows that it's in trouble. Chinese are continuing on. <laughs> Ling Ling, that's what it is. Ling Ling, thank you. Serious question. If I pour whiskey up my ass, do I still get drunk? Uh, you'll get poisoned and probably die. Don't fucking do that, you moron. All right. <laughs> Eric Swalwell, thank you. Stupid G.I. Jane. What the hell? Your country is full of shills for Xi Jinping. They are dirty Chinese and they can't fight. Vietnam with Philippines. We go fight China from south and hang 11 right over grave of Pol Pot. We beat once, we beat again. V. V. G.I. Jane. G.I. Jane, thank you very much, man. All right, by the way, um... Moving on from what Mr. Nguyen said, uh, the spies are now starting to be outed out here in America. Aside from the Russian agents on the right, we've got a lot of people on the left that are China operatives. Uh, Take a look at this. New York's governor's ex-aide charged as Chinese agent. So what that suggests to me is that uh, the deep state, if you will, is trying to eliminate anyone, anyone who is a, a compromising scenario. Hey guys, sorry for being gone so long. Had to deal with the death of my father recently. Now I'm back with actual news. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, if that's for real, dude. Sorry to hear about your old man, I'm sorry, man. What if I pour the whiskey up my pee hole? Oh, Jesus Christ. Will I get Christ. drunk then? Also, will I pee out alcohol after? All if right. I poured whiskey uh, up sorry. my keyhole and pissed in your mouth, would you get uh, drunk? Jesus from it? Christ! Can you cut the shit? Oh my God! Anyway, sorry, so sorry for that uh, news about your father. I hope everything's all right. Uh, well, with you mentally, of course, it's not all right. But one day at a time, man. Time is the ultimate healer. I know that's easier said than done, but uh, you know, Godspeed, man. Uh, but anyway, let me continue here. All right. Uh, Now that they've been outed, I'm talking Chinese spies in America, and that's not, no pun intended. I mean, you can just see them. I mean, they get busted. All right, here's Count Benface here. Such a conundrum. on the left and Vanix on the right. Perhaps the Five Eyes should do some more infiltration upon these foolish countries. I promise the finest recyclons, including Duke Thomas Albolian, to infiltrate the poos. And piss on you. What? Infiltrate the poos? What the fuck does that mean? And Eddie 324758 with a rumble rant. How is it that the right supposedly loves Russia and the left has a boner for China and Russia and China are holding hands in the world's garbage dump? Well, first of all, I've if, I, apparently you don't fucking listen, Eddie. But as I've stated many times, that the Russia-China relationship is nothing but optics. It's nothing but optics, because if China and Russia really did have a relationship, China would be supplying Russia with arms and men in its war efforts, and it's not. China, may believe, belongs to them. So that's, that, uh, you know, that should answer your question. And Eddie 324758, when are you and... I'm going to give Vox and Urinator their own segment. Fuck off. All right, go fuck yourself. All right, and Jack is okay. You're one to talk about foreign agents using medicine to hurt America. We all know that you are an Israel spy that uses medical science to insert estrogen into your fans. All right, great. That's real funny, all right? 
Anyway, once again, China warning students against beautiful women and handsome guys who might turn them into spies because that's what they've been doing. That's how Eric Swalwell was so compromised by fucking, you know, Wee Wee or whatever the fuck her name was, all right? Chinese-backed forces. Take a look at this. <laughs> I'd buy that Take a look at that. Dollar. And Ghost's also, best Also, is it possible to brew alcohol from your own pee? Oh, if it God. is, I'd like to make some for you, Ghost. All right. Then we can uh, put it up each pie? other's pee holes where's and get drunk pie? off pissing alcohol in each I'm other's sorry, mouths. I'm sorry, dude. I gotta take a Would smoke. Would be a lot of fun. I'm Don't sorry. Don't you think? You're a fucking sick piece of shit, all right? I gotta take a smoke. I'm sorry, folks. All right? I'm over here. I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks, man. And this is the kind of crap that you people are going to donate, for heaven's sake. Jesus Christ. Anyway, once again, take a look at this. Myanmar's military junta is battered by Chinese-backed forces. The Brotherhood Alliance continues to strike shocking victories. So maybe, I don't know, maybe China will be making a move on Myanmar and, tr and change it back to Burma? I have no fucking idea. But keep your eye on Myanmar and China's influence because they uh, they are influencing it. And hold on, wait a minute. A troll in the interwebs, uh, put me in the piss party credits. All right, thanks a lot. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be Great. Great, trolling. All right, so once again, uh, China's influence is, you know, affecting Myanmar. We, we all know who they are. Hold on, Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight. If the piss party needed a cameraman, I'm available. Jesus Christ. And Mega Max 578, because you can't do nothing about these dono spams, you tard. Whatever that means, Mega Max. All right, go eat a peanut, you moron. But anyway, as I. Oh, Jesus I Christ! Tell me, Mr. Albin, why did you turn your back on Trump? Did you turn your back upon the state? Are these foreign colluders here in this room? Truly a G.I. Jane Noir, oh, a fickle capitalist pig dog who can't stand the great and powerful Vietnam. V, V, uh, I'm, v, I'm getting v. tired of this fucking crap, I'll tell you that right buy now. That for a dollar. Since mid-April, a wave of wolf attacks has terrorized around 30 villages wolf. in Barich district, near the border with Nepal. Nine children and an adult have been carried off and killed by the wolves. The youngest victim was a one-year-old boy. Great, thank you, Sasori, all right? Or Sensory, whatever the fucking name is. And Megamax578, yeah, you don't know. You're a tard. All right, yep. Yeah. This is a guy who thinks the black man invented the peanut. All right, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know what? Let me take a smoke so I can continue to do this fucking show, for heaven's sake. All right? Let me just try to take a fucking smoke. Now, of course, I had the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner hook me up with a new strain of tobacco because I'm not doing any kind of illegal contraband. Um, I'd buy that oh for a dollar. God. What? Answer my question, Ghost. Would you be down for drinking each other's piss? No! I'm looking for forward to it. No! Jesus Christ! Either, though. This is only for you and me. Our little piss brew extravaganza. From one piss hole to another's mouth. All right, dude. Less than three. I, I'm sorry that we're... We, you gotta listen to this, man. I'm really sorry. All right, I'm really sorry. And let me take some of these uh, buy me a coffees. Uh, True Hanoi Radio, we're going to get to all these videos on the next ghost show. So cheers to you. And we've got Arrogant Bastard, who said it's hard to take China seriously when they are rife with tofu drag construction, shit like gutter spit oil, and laying down movement by their young. Yeah, that, that whole fucking whole laying down movement. The reason the laying down movement happened there, Arrogant Bastard, is because they really can't protest. If they protest, they get in jail. So that's the most subtle thing they could do in protest. And the reason that they were protesting was because the government forced many of these kids that are now graduating with like graduate degrees and higher. They're coming out into the workforce and the Chinese government is telling them that they have to do labor. They're going to have to do manual labor and they are fucking pissed about it. And that's where the lay down movement comes from their arrogant bastard. So cheers to you, man. And we got Devious Dave on the topic of Pakistan. There's a really good YouTube documentary I just watched that talks about how bad inbreeding is in Pakistan. Yeah, I know they're the most inbred country is right. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about, Devious Dave. Yeah, Pakistan, most inbred country in the world. Not even joking. But once again, uh, economic crisis is hitting Pakistan. And the reason is, is because they're debt-ridden. 
They owe a lot of money to China. That's why I'm saying China, at some point, is going to go in there. And it's going to go in there at the request of the Pakistani government to quash the massive amount of terrorism that is afflicting the country. And what terrorism I'm talking about? Well, now we've been talking about the Balakistan region. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, real funny asshole, all right? But anyway, uh, they continue, all right? The Balakistan continues to... And I'm surprised they're still in existence at this point. Uh, but anyway, oh Jesus! I'd Here we go again. I'm taking a smoke. Did some machine installations in China. My trip was marked with a 24-hour stay on arrival because the route to the hotel was That's flooded, which apparently happened at least once a month. Yep. On top of that, massive heroin and homeless problems. Well, I, I believe it, El Fox. I remember the opium wars, you know. And Mr. Nguyen Real hooked it up with a rumble rat. Hello, G.I. Jane. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Ghost equals the Pakistani pants pooper. Fuck, dude, fuck off, man. Anyway, hello, G.I. Jane. Huff your copium because you can't cope with the powerful Vietnam. <laughs> oh, I'd Jesus Christ, come on! At least six people have been killed and more than 100 injured after Typhoon oh, Shanshan made landfall in the southwestern you guys are gonna Japan have to give on me Thursday. A break, now man. downgraded to a tropical storm. Shanshan is still packing winds of 90 kilometers per hour. You guys got to give me a fucking miles break. per hour. Many people have no R. Real, real, great. Thank you, Sensori. All right. Anyway, all my fans here in chat, fire sale. Let's now get into the Mr. Nguyen Real chat on Rumble. What the fuck? What are you fucking talking about? Anyway, once again, police clash with protesters in Pakistanis Peshwar. So not looking good for Pakistan, man. I mean, I always cover Pakistan because, you know, it's got a lot of fucking problems. But you know what? To troll them, the U.S. State Department came out today and they said the following... The U.S. continues to stand shoulder to shoulder with Pakistan against terrorism. <laughs> they do this all the time. They do this all the time. And I, I, I fucking laugh every time they do it. Anyway, uh, Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight with a rumble rant. What's happening in Greenland, ghost? Can we get to Greenland? Dude, fuck off with your fucking stupid Greenland bullshit, man. That's a stupid fucking meme. And just shut up already. Just shut up. Why don't you all just shut up? Anyway, once again, you know, the United States, you know, just kind of trolling a little bit. We stand shoulder to shoulder with Pakistan. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on. Wait a minute. This video is pretty funny. All right. Hold on just a second. I will read this in the ghost show. Thank you, LB Capitalist. Man, I already got a lot of videos for the ghost show, for Christ. I may have to do the ghost show tomorrow. I don't know. Look at all these fucking videos I got to do for ghost show. I may have to do this shit tomorrow. All right. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, don't obligate me. Don't say, oh, ghost, you promised. Anyway, speaking of Pakistan, uh, Pakistan is now being in a confrontational situation now. And remember, that's why we left Afghanistan. <laughs> All right, we left I'd Afghanistan that so that these people could do our dirty work. A television anime adaptation of Sora Nakano's Choto de Kai Ga Armoi Dark Elf Kai Kara Oi Kantekita. Yandere Dark Elf, she chased I'm me all the way smoke. from another world. Manga was announced by WW Wave Corporation on Friday. <laughs> Get to Greenland brain. news. Yeah, fuck you, all right? Fuck you, all right? Anyway, once again, Pakistan uh, military and Taliban clash over border dispute. And look, it's... Uh, I mean, this is what the Taliban was supposed to do. This is why we left. This is why we gave them... All of our goddamn uh, military armaments and shit. Once again, all right, this is our message. Because remember, ISIS and Al-Qaeda are <laughs> CIA for a dollar. satellites. I think Gen Zs are uneducated and don't dare care at all to learn the stepping stones into becoming adult that can sustain themselves as functional beings in this earth today and here throughout the world. Gen X, Millennials and Boomers are cool, though. Nah. I'd buy that for I don't dollar. know about that there, denominator. Join the hashtag Vietkin today. We fight for truth against what Boomer G.I. The bunk bunny of big chested anime women. V for Vietnam. H for Ho Chi Minh big VC for Viet Cong women. S to spit on American GIs. Hanoi Hanna superior woman. 
<laughs> I cut oh, the GI. Jesus Christ. Christ bitch. All right, all right, J Jesus Christ! And hold on just a second. Let me let me get to. The, I'll get to yours in just a second. There's someone, man. I want to get through what I'm talking about out here. All right. So once again, uh, ISIS may be the culprit in this. It knows that it, it ain't gonna <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work for them. Kill us, behead us, roundhouse kick a into the concrete, slam dunk a baby into the trash can. Yeah, crucify uh, you know what? The denominator of food launch into the sun denominator into come on volcanoes. man that's enough all right denominator i don't know why you even had to go there all right i don't even know why you even needed to go there but anyway iran reiterating its resolve to hit up israel yeah we'll believe it when we see it iran but i think they know better all right i think they know better and by the way uh they're supposed to be down with russia right so this is a rare rebuke. I'd buy that for a dollar. That was not me. Stop fucking impersonating me. Somebody's in person. Oh shit, uh, dude! I hate when you people do that. All right, I hate when you fucking people do that. But once again, very rare rebuke from Iran against Russia. All right, over this little area of Zangjir, this little corridor that separates Armenia from Azerbaijan. I'd buy that for a dollar. You're an asshole, dude. All right? Do that again, no radio graffiti, and I'm out of here. Fucking piece of shit. I'm trying to spark synapses here, for Christ's sake. Let me hurry up and finish up already, for Christ's sake. I've already fucking been here enough. I've been here long enough. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about Bangladesh, all right? Well, not much is really happening now. They did bring in this new guy who happens to be a Nobel Peace Prize winner. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bandai Namco Filmworks opened an official website for an original television anime titled My Bashu Witches on Thursday, what? revealing the production Who staff, gives a main fuck? cast, a teaser visual, Who a picture, gives a and shit? a teaser promotional video. Type G for Greenland News. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Muslims are fucking ass. Uh, dude, I don't know who the hell you are, snakes, but piss off, dude. Anyway, as I was stating, uh, a guy by the name of Mohammed Yunus, which is, believe it or not, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, is now the leader. And uh, this woman, believe it or not, there was a woman named Sheikh Hasi Hasina, who actually fled into exile. Take a look at this. Over 560,000 affected by unprecedented Yemen floods. <laughs> unprecedented. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, dude. Look, stop donating me videos, dude. I'm I'm, I'm going to do them on the next ghost show, all right? We're not doing them here. We're not doing them here, man. Cut the shit. Anyway, I believe that the harpies were potentially used here. Well, you know what? Let's just end it there, all right? Let's just end it there, and let's go ahead and let's get to totally useless news, all right? Because I got a whole shitload of shit I still got to do. But you people aren't fucking listening anyway. All right? If we put the intelligence of most of you all together, you might have enough intelligence to tie your shoe. So I have no idea. But let's get to... Uh, hey, now get Metal Warrior out of here. All right? This guy's a fucking tard. All right? And he probably doesn't even have enough intelligence to fucking figure out what the hell's going on. Get him out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Anyway, let's go to totally useless news here, all right? And uh, first story of totally useless news, put the PC shot on. This is goes to show you how pathetic America is at this point in time and how much time, effort that we have on our hands. And yet, all this time and effort, people don't want to go out and get a job. People don't want to fucking uh, make an honest living. All this time and energy. And what time and energy? Take a look at this. Hundreds of... Plan to cruise the Philadelphia streets in the 15th annual Philly Naked Bike Ride. That's right, folks. Uh, Philadelphia, already a horrific shitbag of a city. And if you take a look at the people that walk around out there, it's fucking disgusting. Imagine thousands of people butt naked on a bicycle seatless bike going up and down the street, for Christ's sake. Now, why? Why are they doing this? This was an actual ride or an annual ride that started in 2009 
and it was billed as promoting cycling as a key form of transportation and fuel conscious consumption. And it also encourages body positivity. Organizers stress, however, the participants aren't required to completely be in the buff, telling them to get as bare as you dare. Oh my God. So once again, man, I mean, I, I, I can't stand when people talk shit about America and how America doesn't have this and doesn't have the opportunity and I'm po in America. It, dude, this is a country that holds annual butt naked bike rides in order to get people to be body positive and more green. So give me a break, especially Philly people, dude. I mean, Philly people are the fucking, they're fucking horrible. I mean, Philly people are so bad. You know, I, when I used to watch the NBA, I used to love watching the NBA, believe it or not. I used to watch the All-Star game, and Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, was the MVP of this one All-Star game that happened to be in Philly. And, and, and by the way, uh, Kobe Bryant was born and raised in Philadelphia. So when he was awarded the MVP, the most valuable player of the All-Star game, everybody in Philly started booing his ass. They booed the shit out of him. And he got interviewed by Jim Gray. And by the way, Jim Gray is a funny interviewer in sports. I'm not joking. Um, he interviews him, and then he ends the interview like, uh, Kobe, you know, you're, you're born and raised here. You went to, you know, high school here. You know, you, you, you have your youth here. How do you feel, you know, how your hometown is just completely booing you amidst it? You, you know, you came here, you got the MVP, and he almost started crying. <laughs> he almost started crying. So... That just goes to show you what kind of shit bags are out there in Philadelphia. I mean, I, I don't. I, it's a shit bag city. I know they call it the city of brotherly love, but ain't no love over there, man. All right, ain't no love over there. Now I know I'm talking garbage about Americans and all the free time they have. Let's talk a little shit, a little bit about the Limeys and all the goddamn time they have. Why do you think they? fucking brought so many wild Jehudis in their goddamn country for heaven's sake hold on wait a minute uh, Jack is okay with a rumble ran I understand now you quit your last TCR early to catch your flight to Philadelphia uh, yeah real funny all right and Eddie three two four seven five eight with a rumble ran aren't you from Philly fuck no all right but anyway let's talk a little bit about the limeys and about some of the activities they do with their spare time did you watch this? Take a look at what the UK are doing right now. Or have done, I should say. Hundreds gather to watch the World Gravy Wrestling Championship at a UK pub. The World Gravy Wrestling Championship. Let's play this shit, all right? Give me a break. I mean, give me a break. The World Gravy Wrestling Championship, folks. And by the way, is that El Foxo Loco music in the background? Is that the fucking cry wank El Foxo shit? That, uh, that's what it is. The Austrian Bunchy is telling the power of the Sausage. Anyway, there you go, folks. All right, that's your totally useless news segment of the evening and uh, of this show. So, look, let me acknowledge a couple of uh, buy me a coffees here, and then uh, I guess I'll get to radio graffiti because I know I guess I owe you guys. And not to mention, uh, woke millennial dropped the bill, one one hundred dollar bill. Duke or a bill, uh, he's dropped many, but he dropped about uh, about sixty bucks. Uh, we got a lot of people today. Of course, Puerto Rican Prostate Punch on the last show, which pissed me off because I was trying to get to my show. Uh, but anyway, let's put the PC shot on here. Uh, we got LB Capitalist, who wants me to read this in the ghost show. Cheers to you, LB Capitalist, and thank you very much. And we've got someone. Did you see that the father of the Atlanta school shooter just got charged with second-degree more? Whoa! Whoa! Well, let's see this. I mean, this is what we got to start doing as well. This is why I was talking about this in the previous uh, portion of this broadcast. Or, you know, I mean, we got to start putting some blame on somebody for all these mass shootings. All right. 
Put the PC shot on. Father of suspected Georgia shooter being charged with murder and cruelty to children. I mean, something has to be done. All right? We got to stop allowing psychotropic drug people from getting guns, or we got to start charging parents of these people because this has got to stop. I mean, I couldn't believe that the parent, I think of, what was it, Derek or Eric Harris or Derek Lee, but one of them, they're actually making a living. All right, the parents of the Columbine making a living, going from school to school, talking about school shootings. Hey, Ghost, I have been a fan for quite some time. I would like to treat you for dinner. How about the food lion at Traveler's Rest in South Carolina? I will pay and drive you home. No, nah, it's all right. I, I appreciate it. If it was Ruth Chris or something like that, I mean, then maybe. And then what, Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight with a rumble ran. Shooter must have been white. If he were black, he'd be given a hero's parade. Dude, that's horrible. That's that's fucked up. All right. All right, that's fucked up. Anyway, I guess we're going to go ahead and get to everybody's favorite part of the broadcast. And I'm talking about radio graffiti.